yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. What's up, guys? So I just got back from Spain um, last night, and I ran to the store today to get some SD cards because that's why I haven't been able to upload. I lost all my cards. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be taking you guys through a day in the life of a Division One soccer player in preseason. We got captain's camp August 1st, so coming up. So yeah, I'm gonna get some stuff in today, some training, some fitness, some recovery. Um, I got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. So yeah, let's make a light and quick breakfast because I got an orthodontist appointment now in like 30, 40 minutes. And yeah, right now I just got some fruits, um, some melon, peach, and then two English muffins with some peanut butter and honey and a little bit of cinnamon. And then I've also been drinking a lot of water since I woke up. It's like my third hydro, second hydro of the day. Been up since five because I haven't been able to sleep a lot. Just because I wasn't tired. Um, pretty jet lagged. It was like 26 hours of traveling yesterday. Um, and then I got some water with just a little bit of salt and some lemon. Um, I like to drink this in the mornings. Keeps me hydrated throughout the day. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy breakfast and then get ready to go to the orthodontist. I'm not really hyped for it, but it is what it is. So we are back in the gym, as you guys can tell. Um, and I've been getting asked a lot by you guys if I had any workout plans for the summer or preseason training plans or like what I did or if I could help you guys organize some training plans. And I want to announce that I'll be partnering with the new training app that brings FIFA scores to real life. But with the Klein Sports Performance app, they offer both sports specific training and general training. So you know that what you're actually doing in the weight room is gonna translate over into your sport, whether that be football, soccer, baseball, basketball, you name it. They got it all covered. The app covers everything from A to Z, everything you need to train properly, recommended weights and sets, and in-depth analytics to to monitor your progress kind of like a FIFA score and one of the main reasons I love the client sports performance training app and why I want to share it with you guys is because I'm really seeing results I'm feeling more powerful more explosive um, without losing my step and getting bulky because we all know as soccer players that's not really gonna help us on the field another feature that I really love from this app is that it allows you to see your strengths and weaknesses through the injury prevention and physical screening tests that you do at the beginning once you start and open an account with them so after you get your setup done and all the physical screening on the app once you get your program it'll be catered to all your strengths and weaknesses what you need to work on what you need to improve on or things you're already good at and that as an athlete to me is super important knowing why and what i'm doing my specific exercises for because as we all know some stuff doesn't really translate to the soccer field i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works while i work out and again if this sounds like something that interests you um, make sure to check it out right here with the qr code or down below in the link below and to support me use code hector guys really appreciate it let's get on with the workout so as you guys can see as soon as you open the app um today's strength focus is going to be the quads um so we're going to go ahead and press start session and right here you see the whole workout it's gonna be 58 minutes 29 different movements um and we'll go ahead and start with the warm-up so begin session um it gives you the timer so all you got to do is press start obviously and then also if you press more info as you see here it tells you all the instructions and how you're supposed to do it so that you make sure you're making these movements safely and yeah so let's go ahead and start one thing i really love and i've realized when using this app is I never really get bored of my workouts. They always do a really good job of incorporating new exercises and movements. So the workouts are always fun and the warm ups are really good. I always feel ready to go by the time my workout starts. Right here, we were doing some of the kneeling lunges. And then we got into this sort of a back arm stretch. And then some yoga push ups, work on the shoulders and that mobility. And yeah, then we got into this sort of runner's lunge, um, or as they call it, the Spider Man overhead reach one of my favorite uh, exercises to warm up with. And then we got straight into the workout. And this was the skier with weights, super fun exercise. I don't have a med ball, so this type of ball should have to work. Might be a little too bouncy though, let's see. I've done exercises like this in the past. I've done certain variations. And I really like these type of exercises because you can see there are a lot of game realistic movements. It's not your classic gym lifts or workouts. And it just gets me feeling nice for the field. This next one is also one of my favorites. Nice explosive lift, dumbbell split squat. And then we go into these lateral step ups, get that lateral movement going. And then this next one is also one of my favorites, dumbbell squat jumps, classic. You see a lot of footballers doing these. And then this last one, the plated overhead lunges, really killed me. It was trying to control the movement as best as I could. And then, you know, of course, we had to end the workout with a little cool down, get the body feeling nice and right.
workout done, time to fuel up a little bit. And then we're gonna get some touches on the ball um, and do some finishing, some fitness. And then, yeah, let's go boys. And again, if this sounds like something that interests you, uh, make sure to check it out right here with the QR code or down below in the link below. And to support me, use code Hector, guys. Really appreciate it. So again, just gonna keep it light because I don't like feeling full while I'm training. So I'm just gonna have a few almonds and then we're gonna head out to the field. So this was my first session back in a while, and I had just gone back um, from Spain, 26 hour flight. So I was feeling pretty jet lagged. First thing I wanted to do was just get some simple touches, do a lot of ball control. As you can see, I was just doing some simple juggling, just going through the motions, uh, and just getting different feelings with different parts of my feet, and just getting comfortable on the ball again, because it's been a while since I had some footy, I'm not gonna lie. I was doing a lot of running and a lot of lifting in Spain. It was kind of hard to find fields there. So then we started with a nice little warm up, got the body moving. Legs were feeling a little heavy after that workout, but you know, we got through it. Then we did my simple ball mastery little routine, just get some touches on the ball as many as I can. And yeah, I was feeling pretty sharp today. Um, then we did some more juggling, a little overhead juggling, just get the touch going. And yeah, I was feeling pretty good, having fun back on the field and just excited for the season. Then we got into some touches with some step overs, really exaggerating that movement over. Maybe I should even exaggerate a little more to be honest but that's what we're here right we're here to get better so and then yeah we got into some disguised fitness so as you can see you just dribble up dribble back down dribble to the right cone dribble across to the left cone dribble back down and then just a simple shot, try to put it in the corners, pretty good one. And then yeah, just did three sets of five reps and no pauses in between each set and just go at it, just get the fitness going. A little bit of a leg killer, I mean not a little bit, a lot of a leg killer. I'm not gonna lie, at the end these reps were tough. Then after we finished this disguise fitness drill, I got into some crossing, some corner kicks. Um, just wanted to get a lot of repetitions, get my technique right um, for the season. And yeah, just getting a lot of reps. Was feeling pretty good. And yeah. Just got back from practice, pretty hot right now. I'm about to hop in the shower and then hop in the pool, cool down, and then make some lunch. Okay, I'm gonna make a simple quick protein shake, just some mangoes and some protein powder. It's pretty big, uh, I don't know how many calories, but bacon is like 12 grams of protein, five eggs, 35 grams of protein, and then here 25 grams of protein. Pretty big breakfast, um, but I'm not really worried about the calories because season, pre-season starts in like a couple days. I'm gonna be losing a lot of um, weight. I'm just need to load up, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this, and then we have chiropractic, and then we have acupuncture in an hour. Guys, we got some of the needles in the head. Feeling better already. <laughs> Just finished up at the acupuncture. Oh my god, my car is hot. I just burned my my arm. Um, feel pretty tired after that. I was 
like an hour long acupuncture session. But yeah, feeling better. Just ran home really quick to switch into some shorts for a sports massage. And yeah, now time to head out. Just finished the sports massage, didn't really feel like filming in there. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm about to get some ice and then take an ice bath. So I'll catch you guys there. So guys, as you all know, I'm a big fan of ice baths. I think they're a great and pretty affordable way of getting some great recovery in. Help with that muscle soreness and just get ready for the next day if you have some big event or a game or whatever you're recovering for a tournament. Um, and I recently got this ice bath from Shumand on Amazon. They sent me out a couple to test out and I highly recommend it for you guys. As you can see, it's super easy to set up. It took me like two minutes total to set up the whole thing. All you gotta do is put all the poles in, pump up the top, and then you just fill it up with water. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy. It comes with a nice little bag for on the go. So if you wanna take it to tournaments, you wanna take it to games, wherever you're going. As you guys can tell, I put the cover on the ice bath because now we're about to go get some ice from the gas station, fill it up, and we'll hop in. And yeah, that's all. Once you have it pumped up and you have the poles in, all you gotta do is put in the ice, put in the water, and then it's ready to go. It's really spacious and it fits a lot of different types of people in there. Um, whether you're bigger or smaller, it'll fit you. And yeah, I'll leave a link down below for you guys that are interested in purchasing it with the 15% discount you guys can use if you want. And if you've never tried an ice bath before, or if you're wondering what it does, here are some studies that have proven what ice baths can do to your body. Um, they reduce inflammation, they can boost your mood, and even relieve pain after workouts. It's a great thing for all athletes, not just physically, but also on the mental side. Thanks for watching, and new uploads every Sunday, so be on the lookout, guys.